Connor, when you when you deal with um, kids self-directed IRAs, how, how does that work if they're five and you know? <laughs> right. and, and, so the parent signs as a guardian. Okay, guardian. so they sign it. They yeah. can they help control the because, asset and then because of course it. now let's say it's a self-directed IRA and. This child is now 15, and they've been putting in, you know, $5,500 a year into a, a self-directed IRA. Now they've got some real money to maybe make a note or something like this. They're under the age of majority; they can't really contract or make those decisions. So parents are doing as they're going. And, and is there a way, um, you know, you'd love to think that every 15-year-old has their head screwed on, or every 18-year-old has their head screwed on, right? But when they're 18, all of a sudden they're legally able to make their own decisions sure. and not have that guardian. Right. Yeah. Is there a way to protect them where the parents can still have the control in that kind of a situation and say, you're 18, you're not making your own investments yet, I'm still gonna help you with this and I'm gonna control it versus them saying, no, I'm taking it all out now and you know, ruining the whole oh, idea. So, yeah, so uh, that's a great question, Matt. I'd say uh, there are a couple of ways to do this. Um, one is if you're putting the asset, if the asset is already in the child's name, um, once they hit the age of majority, they're going to be able to hit to control it. But in many cases, um, obedient children can give their parents power of attorney. So, so you're saying beat the kids in the submission? <laughs> yeah. Or, or you can use you can use other assets as leverage. Like, hey, if you mismanage your, if you don't give me power of attorney over this, well, I'm just going to write you out of your the, the will or the trust. That's a way to do it. So 